Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, zombies, monsters, and the class action lawsuits. And we're going to get ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. All that and how to use all your new emoji. Mm, on iOS Today. iOS Today is brought to you by... The Ring Video Doorbell. With Ring, you can see and talk to anyone at your door from anywhere in the world using your smartphone. It's like caller ID for your home. Right now, get free FedEx shipping when you go to ring.com slash iOS today, today. And by Unity, the free home media server. Stream your media and files from any computer you own to your iOS devices. For more information and to download Unity for free, visit getunity.com slash twit. That's G-E-T-Y-O-U-N-I-T-Y dot com slash twit. And by Gazelle, the online marketplace for buying and selling used gadgets. Shop from a variety of certified pre-owned electronics or trade one in for cash. Give new life to a used device. Visit gazelle.com today. Welcome to iOS Today, Leo Laporte. Megan Maroney. It is a little weird when adults, normal adults, speak in unison. Yeah, you don't like it when you do. Ah, we we're not a choir. We're not a choir yet. Mm, yet. <laughs> <laughs> Two more people, and we're a choir. Yes. So this is where we talk about iOS. I mean, iPhone, Apple, Apple Watch, uh, iPad, and we've been we've been debating. Um, and I'm I think you might have a dog in this hunt. So to speak. I do, yes. Whether the new Apple TV should be covered on iOS today. Because mm -hmm. if it's covered, then you need to buy me one. If it's not, I have to stick to my old That's fashioned the Roku. Two hundred dollar question. <laughs> is the two. What do you think? What do you should think? Should Leo buy I, me an Apple it's TV? It's got an app store. Yes. Now the apps have to be written specifically for the Apple TV. You can't just buy any old app mm -hmm. on the Apple TV. Mm -hmm. You have to buy an app that's written to use the remote. Right. Uh, but it also has Siri. Yeah. That's a little yeah. iOS y. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, yes, we should cover it. So go ahead and buy one. Okay. I, I, I got the message at six this morning because I wasn't sure. You know, they said Tim Cook last week mm -hmm. when he was talking to the Wall Street Journal uh, on their big conference, What Would Steve Jobs Do? Right. WSJD. Um, <laughs> not really what it's called. That's not, it is, well, it's WSJD. Right. I don't but that's think for the they. Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal Digital. Yeah. See, it looks to me like what would Steve Jobs do, but okay. Mm -hmm. um, he said that Monday we, they would put the Apple TV on sale and it would be a, a shipping later that week. Mm -hmm. Shockerino. Um, so I was up, I tried to figure out, should I stay up to midnight? What, you know, what does Monday mean? And uh, I don't know because uh, then I got up, I went to bed. Didn't, didn't get up at midnight, so I don't know when it went on sale, but when I got up at six, I saw, boom. Apple TV on sale, and I immediately ran to the Apple TV mm -hmm. uh, store. I purchased one, $199 for 64 gigs. For 50 bucks less, you get 32 gigs, but we don't even know how much storage you need, but I'm thinking more is going to be better. Right. Have you ever bought anything for the, le the lesser version? Have you ever, when you yeah, look Yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes buy uh, smaller phones, things like that, because it can cost a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it in time. They said if you get uh, overnight delivery... We could deliver it as soon as October 30, 30th, which is the th Friday. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure. It kind of implied, I did do that because I wanted to get it as soon as possible so we could talk about it. But I kind of implied that maybe I wouldn't get it till the following Monday. So I might have it for next week's iOS today. Okay, yeah. Well, we got a tweet that said somebody ordered it today, this morning, and they're not getting it till November 8th. Yeah, it's one of those things where if you don't, that's why you yeah. get up at midnight. If right. you don't get in the line quick. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not sure. I, it, when I ordered it, it said ships as soon as October 30th. But then when I actually got the email, it said something like November 4th. So we'll have mm -hmm. to just see. Yeah. Well, uh, they're already building apps, Twit apps. Stewart wrote in. He he's an app developer. He's building a Twit app for the Apple TV. He already gave us the link. Thank you, Stewart. The link doesn't work, but when it when it launches, we'll make a big deal out yeah, of it. That's it, great. Thank you. So. We we've been living on the uh, kindness of strangers. We have. 
And mm -hmm. uh, we thank you all who write these uh, third-party apps for us. These are fabulous. Roku, iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and now Apple TV. Hello, Siri. <laughs> Siri just talked to me. So, uh, so I it's think almost Halloween. Halloween is Saturday. It's Halloween. Saturday. So soon. I love Halloween. I am a huge you? fan of Halloween. I yes. saw you got the wig out. I got the wig. You knew what the wig is for. Right? I yeah. recognize those uh, those cinnamon buns immediately. Yeah. That's uh, your Princess I Leia wig. I do the buns myself, but uh, I'm airing out the wig. Um, <laughs> Does it we'll get yeah. a little stuffy? Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. It smells it's, like mothballs or it does something? a little bit, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I got my costume, got my uh, Wait, do you wear... Okay, now, oh, I don't know how to say this. It doesn't sound... Uh, just go Sexy. ahead. <laughs> Salacious. Uh, the white, the white gown. You wear the, the white the, gown. I don't have the Episode four, thing. you don't have no. the, the bikini. I can't do that anymore. And I don't think she so had the, the crescent buns on her head in the bikini one. No, She no, was like in a ponytail, yeah, wasn't it was, she? Yeah. Slave she had, Leia. Like, air, yeah, yeah, braids or something. I yeah. Think. Yeah, no, it's so, not the... Yeah. No, yeah, yeah you're, you're Just a mother the fighting now. costume. The days of wearing that metal bikini are long behind you. I never, I never would wear that metal bikini. Not <laughs> I don't even know who before would. I was a mother. It doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> no. No. I know. But... Just the words metal and bikini don't mm -hmm. really belong together. Yeah. So you're going to wear the flowing white robes. Mm -hmm. The belt. Uh, you have to wear really red lipstick, mm -hmm. right? That looks, you know, the wet look, wet red lipstick. Mm -hmm. I don't know how she managed to do that. Get a trash compactor. Get, you know, running around shooting yeah, and things. And she's still red. Red, perfect red lipstick. Yep. Uh, but that's a pretty simple costume. Yeah. If you have the mm -hmm. uh, accoutrement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a lot of costumes, but I think this is the year that the Princess Leia has to come out, obviously. And then I can wear it again for the premiere of the movie that we're going oh, to. Oh, yes. 20, so, we yeah. bought how many tickets now? I, I think we've gone over 20 tickets. Yeah, I know. You kept saying with us, we don't have enough people to go. But no, of course everybody we do. wants to go. Yeah. That's because some people, Greg, are bringing three other people with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that right. was because you kept saying you didn't have enough people to yeah, go. Yeah, right. No, I think it was actually uh, the spreadsheet was was broken. It was. Briefly. It you was. You couldn't actually enter your name <laughs> in it. It was a tease. <laughs> Would you like to go to Star Wars? Put your name here, but you can't. Yeah. Ah! So in honor of Halloween, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do spooky Scary apps. apps. You yes. show me one app that actually is... is Should we fact, start with that one, or is that too spooky? I would like to warn parents with young children, yes, impressionable should. people, mm -hmm. uh, Anyone? not to watch w yeah. what you're about to see. If you've ever see. been attacked by a zombie, turn it off now. So this, this was, is... This turns you into a zombie? This is, yeah, this is the Walking Dead, Dead Yourself. Dead Yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Dead Yourself as in make yourself dead. Yes. Yeah, so uh, let's go, let's check a photo. Okay. Oh, no, that's... This is the, it's only an iPhone app, so we're using it on the iPad. So let's look at my photos and, oh, there was one. These, so, okay, again, these can be disturbing. The, yeah. I'm disturbed and well, I, have a, yeah. I have a pretty strong stomach. Um, I'll show you the one that I posted on Instagram uh, because. That's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. There it is. That's pretty bad. There we go. Ah! Okay, so you're taking a bite out of your parka. Apparently. Yeah, <laughs> apparently I got yeah. hungry. And were you uh, now? Let me ask you: Were you wearing aviator glasses, or was yes, that, those was, are my Warby Parkers, actually. Those are so the glasses were real. So that's kind of interesting. So it took uh, the picture of you. Yes. And it took out your eyeballs. Mm-hmm. And put in zombie eyeballs. It did. And then, uh, but but put your glasses back on after it did that, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Here's another one that I did of myself. You can see in there, I'm a little bloody. I, uh, that's not so bad. I have to it say, says hospital staff. Yeah, that's a Walking Dead uh, reference that I don't know because okay. I don't watch The Walking there Dead. There is no Do safe you? side. Nope. Um, I'm done with zombies. I was done, done with zombies. I like vampires. Okay, I'm not a so zombie guy. Let me just do. Oh, you. make me a zombie. I'm gonna make you. All right. Oh. I see. I see. You're gonna try to be fitting me into. Uh, the okay. skeleton uh, mm -hmm. face. Yes. Should I make a face? What, what in your vast zombie making Smile, experience? Smile like you're happy. That's uh. perfect. oh, that's perfect. Oh, mm. that oh my that? God! Yeah, here we go. That's good. But we can change it a little bit. We can give you glasses. Oh, that's funny. We can. Okay. I think we can give you tools. Tools? In your head? Like an axe? <laughs> oh, in my head. It's not tools I would use. Somebody's used upon me. <laughs> yeah, somebody okay. has used that. All That's right. pretty scary. Mm. Um, so, but does yeah. it look like me? Does it? Uh, I think so. Okay. What? Oh, look, you're behind a behind yeah, a church you glass. You really do this up. So then I can post it to social media, share publicly. Yes. No. Yes, always. Yes, I'll just say yes. 
Cool. And where were I have when were I born? you're born here. Let's just not share it publicly, but we can put it on <laughs> when Instagram. When were you born? <laughs> but, so why it's asking it ask when I was born. Oh, because to make it, sure yeah, you're, you're 13 not a kid. or over. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's Dead Yourself from The Walking that's Dead. That's pretty Hunt. cool. Uh, and then, you know, post Hunt it. or be hunted. Um, and they will save to your camera roll. Um, I have one of my that's, dog. I want to see the dog one because I thought that was pretty cute. <laughs> pretty cute to see yeah. my dog as a zombie. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed that. You enjoyed that one. Where was that one? Your kids, it made some... Did it scare them? Uh, yeah, it did actually scare my daughter. And surprisingly, I was like, oh, look, isn't this funny? And she's like, that's scary, Mom. And she's 12, so... There's I like dogs. that. <laughs> that's a zombie dog. An old granny Somehow dog zombie. got himself uh, some cat eye glasses that we don't... Maybe that was yeah. something he ate. Mm -hmm. uh, shall I do another one, or do you have some that you would like to talk about? Another app, another scary app. Is your app. next I just app have, equally scary? No, my next app is sort of scary, but not... Because mine is, is, is happy monsters. Okay, let's. I'll do one more, and then you can go. Okay. Okay? Uh, this okay. is the spooky box. Hmm. Oh, it sounds. Uh, yes, sounds. This so, is good. This is useful. This is a, a set, what they call a soundboard, right? So you have buttons for different sounds, mm -hmm. and you you're going to make different sounds. Clown scream. No, make sure you, are you turned yeah. up? Here, no, just, I'm muted because I was practicing for it. And my sound, let me just do Here, this. let's just turn that all the way up. I'm having some sound oh, issues all go. around. Here's a dead will walk. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. <laughs> See, you know what's nice is these overlap. Yes, you can do them on loops. And now, the clown will scream. I'm coming for you. This is fun. Now, is it just this page? No, or are there more pages? Swipe, swipe around. There's more pages? There's 96. What? Free, you can do the, the free app. <laughs> I'm ready. That's the right. free app is about 50 or 60. The 96 plus sounds that costs, that'll cost you a dollar ninety-nine. This, this is, is scary. awesome. <laughs> I might use this on the radio show. They're pretty good. Just press them all at once and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> That is, you know what? I am going to mount a giant speaker and then, on my roof mm -hmm. and, and just, just sit there. And as kids approach, I'm going to play. So spooky Halloween sound box. Now, how much is that? I think it's a dollar ninety-nine. That is worth every penny. For ninety-six. Ninety-nine, 99 cents. Ninety-nine cents. 99, 99 cents. cents for 96 plus. And there's the free version, which is about sound 50. effects. Sound effects. You know, actually, I've just been handed this. This is how I'm going to. Oh, your chrome cast, cast audio. <laughs> Tubular bells. Actually, this won't work with it, unfortunately. I, I probably should stop, but I really That's awesome. Like it That's the psycho lot. sound. Mm -hmm. How old should a child be before she's allowed to watch psycho? <laughs> That's a really good I, question. I got, I'm still in trouble. I'm still in hot water because I let Abby watch Psycho oh. when she was like nine. That's too and young. And she hasn't taken a shower ever since. <laughs> you so. may be leaving for now, but the nightmares will return. That is awesome! <laughs> yeah, I wish it would work with this, but you'd have to build that into the application for it to work with it. Uh, I'm going to huh? keep... Yeah, yeah, but this doesn't work with it. I'm going to keep that app... Um, just whenever you say something I don't like, I'm gonna. Would you keep it. that running? Yeah. Okay. What do, What do you? I have so many. Uh, all right. All right. Let me do one. one. Okay. And then you can keep going because okay. so far, a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, this isn't scary at all. This is a game though that I really like, and I think your kids will like. It's in the category of Simpsons Tapped Out. We rule. It is a freemium game. It's called My Monsters. And what you're going to have is my singing, I'm sorry, my singing monsters. And that's what's cool about this. They actually sing. You're going to be, oh, monsterhood. All right. How do I get out of the ad? This is freemium. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> that, we're having some troubles. Maybe there's zombies inside no, that's our not, iPads. That's exactly how my, the folks at My Singing Monsters wanted it I to know. happen. You that's happened accidentally again. hit the ad. Oh, there's the X way over oh, there. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, I got 
can kill you. Okay, so it's free, and this is... Now, each of these monsters has a sound. And as you add more monsters, let me collect the uh, coins here. Let's make another monster. Each monster is going to add another song, so I'm going to press the breed thing. Should I do Hank? Mm, Rourke? Um... Bum. But, um, I guess I already have that guy, but I'll I'll do that one. Okay, two monsters to breed. Oh, they have to breed together. Oh, I get it. They're actually just like real life. <laughs> They're gonna breed. Let's speed this up with a diamond. Again, that's what they get you to buy. Now, here's uh, a monster. You just paid for that? Yeah. No, no, because it comes with some diamonds. Oh. But this is what your kids are gonna want you to do, is buy diamonds. Okay. Now, I've hatched another Drumpler. Darn nation. Well, all right. Let's place the drumpler. Your castle does not have enough beds. Oh, I gotta make more beds before I can place the drumpler. I already have a drumpler. They place the drum. So what happens is, as you get more monsters, each one has a unique sound signature. They all blend together to make a song, and it's really fun. You can feed them. You can mute them. What do you feed them? People? Pumpkins, in oh. this case. <laughs> They're monsters. What did you think? Oh, it's a, a, you know, this is very much like We Rule or The Simpsons Tapped Out. There's a Halloween special, The Punkleton. Add this seasonal monster to your plant island. Of course, it's going to cost you, right? So I guess I'm going to have to buy, uh, buy some structures here. It's, I already have a small bakery, and I can't get the bonus nursery. And I only have 3,000 coins, so uh, maybe I can buy a monster. Yeah, I already have a toe jammer and a mammoth. You get the idea. Mm -hmm. Fun game, very colorful, very pretty, and it's got the best soundtrack ever. A lot of times with these games, you get bored because the soundtrack repeats over and over. This is iPhone and iPad. This is the iPad version. I'm playing My Singing Monsters. It's not very scary. In fact, they're kind of happy-go-lucky monsters by Big Blue Bubble, appropriate for all ages. It's funny you pick all the non-scary oh. ones and I pick all the scary ones. Okay, you like baseball, right? And yeah. You, and you love the apocalypse. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Who doesn't? This is baseball apocalypse. What the heck? I would show it, but it only do shows in portrait because this is... Scooch it down a little bit so down. that we can nice. see the whole thing. There we go. Okay, I'm notoriously horrible at these kinds of games, but let's... Just... Okay, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to hit the zombies <laughs> with baseball. Oh, I baseball. see. You're hitting oh, the baseballs. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. It is fun. Let's restart the apocalypse. Oh, that's great. Oh. Why are these zombies? Oh, can you, you come Why are zombies so big right now? Oh, I got some. Um, why are they? Well, uh, I don't know. Probably because we're heading towards the apocalypse. One new iPhone at a time. I don't know. There's a guy who uh, is an expert in all this stuff. His name is Alan Dundas. He teaches at UC Berkeley. And uh, his expertise is uh, kind of folklore and uh, things like that. And he says that this kind of thing, sick joke cycles, when stuff sweeps the nation, it's people's way of dealing with taboo subjects mm -hmm. in a less taboo way. And I think there's something going on with zombies. I'm not sure. Yeah. Is it climate change we're oh, dealing yeah. with? Uh, is it uh, Ebola we're dealing with? What is it that the, the national consciousness is so c consumed with zombies? He says, for instance, um, I don't know if I should say this on the show, but he says <laughs> the elephant jokes, which swept the land in the mid-60s, were uh, the country's attempt to get, uh, to, to get a grips with integration. Huh. Uh, and, and they were telling elephant jokes to kind of handle their fear of racial integration mm. and uh, it's an interesting theory i feel like zombies represent is it is it fear of cancer i feel uh, like they represent I some don't know. deep Probably needed just, yeah a fear of the end of the or world or could just be scary but i do think vampires is the same thing and that's you know vampires it's like sexuality which is scary yes blood. vampires are all about uh, mm -hmm. scary sexuality right yeah. and twilight at least they are for and... me <laughs> Um, you have another one? Because then I'll do uh, zombies and my friends. Uh, I have... So as long as we're talking zombies. I have a couple more. Yeah. Um, well, I have The Story Bots by Jib Jab. We all know Jib Jab. Oh, Jib Jab's they, back. Yes. Every they year have they the have uh, seasonal stuff. Okay, now I have to move this. Let's okay. see. So this is an interesting, because usually you do these on the web. Uh, yeah, this is an app. Mm -hmm. It's a Story Bots Do you want to take a photo of me? 
Uh, Make me your guinea pig? I do want to take ahead. a photo of you. I shall be your guinea pig. Now, what would you suggest for my pose? Uh, that I liked that. Yeah, that's good. Scared, scared. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Good. So now I gotta <laughs> You gotta fit me in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Okay, am I going to be dancing? What am I going to be doing? Well, you're going to be Leo. Okay, I am. Good news. And uh, let's submit Submit. You. So submit I already have some. Oh, you, you put are, some people you, in yeah, there. You. Um, oh. I have Anthony there. Oh, um, look at that. And are we going to now do something fun? Yeah. Uh, do you want to do... There's me as the zombie, too, and uh, my dog. <laughs> my dog. My dog. <laughs> um, All right, let's, let's play this. I, I think it's good. I'm over on the right there. I'm in the vampire outfit. Yeah, but you. you oh, you want me to be uh, yeah. that okay. guy? You're there. You're there. Okay. Zombie. Anthony okay. is the mummy. And let's. The dog. Why is your laundry hanging out here? <laughs> That's not my laundry. That's a ghost. Ah, this is you. for kids, but not with those pictures. That's me. Oh, it's like Scooby Doo. Kind of, yeah. Uh -huh. So you get the idea. Skeletons and zombies. All boogie and down. Jump around. I love Jeff. I have to say. So you can tweet that or email it to a friend, post it on Facebook, all the things. This is yeah, for for the little ones, don't use the zombie picture. Okay, what do you have? One zombies thing I like about the Halloween friends. is the is the music. Yeah. This I is Zombies that. Ate My Friends. I could customize later, but I'll be this guy. And uh, it's actually really a fun game that it goes well. It transcends the genre of zombies and Halloween. Um, I'll let them tell the story since they're okay. so good at that. Basically, you're fighting off zombies, and you have to you have to succeed at that. Here they come. Right. What's good about this is you have many weapons. I think a good zombie game is really more about the weapons than anything else because zombies don't move fast, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, some zombies do, but, but the, the true zombies yeah, are slow they, moving. Slow. They just so, they want your brains, but they don't know how to get so there the fast. So the real key on a good zombie game is, is, is more about the weapons. Hey, you, help me out. We can both get out of here, says Chopper Dave. My partner, Violet, went off to rescue more survivors like you, but I've lost contact with her. I'd go myself, but I could barely stand. Take my two-way radio, and I'll guide you there, okay? This is not in there. There's no recording of this. I'm just auditioning for the part. So we're going to go, and we're going to fight through the zombies. Um, all right. So shall we go? There's some zombies. Watch this. That's a zombie. Should I jab him? Yeah. Let's. Oh, let's punch him. Sometimes you want to just run away. The nice thing is their head falls off. And look what I got. Something you're really going to like, which is a stick with some nails in it. Oh. Let's try it out on this zombie. By the way, if you're a small child, stop watching right now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a wild swing. Oh. That got her with one biff of the bat. So now we gotta get it. Okay, this is easy because it's starting out. There's gonna be more zombies, more weapons, more quests. Get to safety. You see, we have the special store available in the episode two. That's where all the money will be made, of course, with the merchandise and so forth. This is fun. It's uh, zombies. What is it? Ate my friends. Zombies ate my friends. Zombies ate my friends by Chew Ga Glue Games. It's actually very nicely done. It's been around for a while. Probably not new to you. But it's free. Plants versus zombies. You know, I um, that game has changed a lot over the years. Mm -hmm. um, and I played. The, it's not your father's. It's plants not your father's zombies. Plants versus Zombies. Mm -hmm. I played this a lot when it first came out. I was actually kind of a fanatical. Oh, I don't have it on this one. I was a fanatical player, but they've really changed it because it's really gone freemium. It was originally a paid game, and the goal again is to get you to buy stuff. It's gotten much more elaborate. It's gotten much more difficult. Mm -hmm. But people like Lisa who play this all the time. Uh, are gotten so good at it, they had to get more difficult. Right. So if you haven't been keeping up with Plants vs. Zombies, you might want to take a look at it again because when you start playing that game, man, that thing gets hard quick. And good news, the Lawn of Doom is back. Excellent. I missed it. Okay, I have one more. One See, more. I love yes. Halloween, but I also have some Halloween anxiety. Um, 
where, like, am I going to make the costume and what kind of decorations <laughs> am I going to make? That and, is a challenge. Um, you know, I love to decorate and I love costumes, but I do um, get stressed out about how I'm going to do it all. Uh, Instructables, you're probably familiar with the website, they have an app where there's tons of Halloween uh, how-tos in here. So, like, that's a pretty cool snake wreath, don't you think? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, so is this so like Pinterest for Halloween? Oh, it's in how-to, like little how-tos kind of. For, so there'll so, be a movie and show me how to make a snake yeah, wreath? Yeah, directions on how to, to I make. I smell so. feet. So here's the DIY snake Two wreath. Snake wreath. Um, oh, you can just click on there and it shows you. It's just those little rubber snakes you get for like a dollar. Oh, this is actually and much easier, easier than you'd think. Yeah, and then you nice. spray paint them. Oh, so yeah. all the instructions there. See, that's and then you, you take need. the snakes off the or you spray them green and uh, red. and. Right. It's perfect for yeah, Christmas. You just came, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Instructables, this app is free. Oh, I love Instructables. If you're, you need to make well, it's your not just Halloween. Costume. No, it's everything. Yeah, Instructables is so. the best. Urine test jello shots. That's Always great <laughs> gags for a party. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and then I found one before that was like a, a jack-o'-lantern throwing up guacamole. I saw that one. That, that was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could just take the seeds out of the jack-o'-lantern and then you make those eyes that the kids... The kids do these right. things, you know, those yeah. evil eyes, uh -huh. like it's and it, and the and the seeds are coming out the mouth. Although if you do the guacamole, then you can you can have chips around it. Right, it's vomiting guacamole. And I think it put queso dip yeah, in, in for head. brains, yeah, you saw right? That yeah. Too. yeah, yeah. So all these instructions on how to to do all the things that uh, you want to do. You mean you can make candy corn infused vodka? That seems like that'd be so. fun year round. Look at the Kraken pickle. That's what I'm gonna do <laughs> totally. Crack and pickle teeny <laughs> for adult fun all year long. That's all right. Instructables. We like Instructables. That, those are all the, the that's all, that isn't all I had. I picked the best ones. There's more? No, there's more out there, yes. Yeah, but, uh, there's quite yes. a bit more. Halloween I, is big on uh, the Apple yes, Store. Yes, they are. So, yeah, that's, that's what we got. If people wanted to know, uh, for instance, they saw this and they'd like to know where to get this. Is there somewhere they can yes, go? Yes, all the links are at twit.tv slash iOS today. It's a relief mm -hmm. to hear there, that. They they're, are. They're, they're all just there. not lost to the ages. No, they're not. Uh, and You know what's no. so funny? My doorbell is always ringing. On Halloween? No, <laughs> that's the funny thing. Although this would be great on Halloween. Yeah. <gasps> I could tie that spooky sound maker into my Ring Video doorbell, and then we'd have some fun, wouldn't yes. we? So what is this? This is the doorbell I installed. Ah, it's been a couple of months now, and I've been so happy with it. The Ring Video doorbell. I am not Mr. Handyman. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it comes uh, with everything you need, including a drill bit, just the right size, special screwdriver, a special proprietary bit. That's what you're going to use to mount the doorbell so somebody can't come along and take it. They even give you a level and all the instructions, and then there's videos on the website. But why, more importantly, really, would you want to install the Ring Video doorbell? Well, let me tell you why. That's a camera, a wide-angle camera, and when somebody rings your doorbell, it doesn't just ring in your house. It also rings on your phone. It rings on your iPad. It rings everywhere you have the free Ring app. And I'll show you even better than that because it doesn't just have to be somebody ringing your doorbell. Although that's one of the, you know, the real benefits of it is burglars will always ring your doorbell. They'll come to your house. You're at work. They figure if we ring your doorbell. Oh, I picked the wrong app. If we ring your doorbell and you don't answer, fair game. They'll go around back. They'll break in. But if you answer, well, they're going to run off. And the beauty of this is you can answer because not only is there a camera in there, there's a speaker and a microphone, and you can actually talk to the people. So see all this motion? It's got a motion sensor. So these aren't people ringing my doorbell. Here's somebody ringing my doorbell. But these are people moving in front of the door. Huh. And so one of the things I have is videos of Abby coming home at 2 in the morning. Always very handy to bust, to bust your child. Uh, there's actually Lisa leaving for work. So you really, it's really, uh, this is fantastic. You hear it, you see them, you can talk to them uh, if they ring the doorbell. And it, and for a small fee, I think it's 30 bucks a year, they'll store these for a long time so you can use them for prosecution later. It's <laughs> <laughs> Or just to confront people. It's, uh, yeah, I just love the Ring Video Doorbell. We got a deal for you. We got free FedEx shipping when you buy the Ring Video Doorbell right now at ring.com slash iOS today. Uh, it's kind of like caller ID for your home. I never miss a package anymore because a UPS person rings the doorbell. I say, just put it right there. I'll be right there. He goes off and I get my package later, even if I'm at work. Um, it's easy to install. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not Mr. Handyman here. I'm not 
Tim Tool Time Taylor. But uh, I was able to install it. It took me about 45 minutes. I think you can do it even faster, about half an hour. It is totally awesome. If you have a wired doorbell, or even if you don't, because there's a big battery in here, you can also get you use it anywhere uh, on your house. I was thinking of putting it on the bedroom door myself. Put your mind at ease. Protect your home with a video doorbell. Time Magazine named one of the top 10 gadgets of last year. Ring.com slash iOS today for free FedEx shipping. And yeah, it works with iPhone and iPad, but it also works with Android devices, and they have a Windows Phone app as well. It's awesome. It's great if you didn't, don't know if you're having trick-or-treaters or not, and then if you're somewhere else, you can say, oh, look at all go. those trick-or-treaters I missed. Next year, I'm going to stay at home and stay at home. Uh, yeah, I don't, we've, I don't, that's a good question. We, we only moved in the house recently. I don't know if we got, well, I have yeah, trick-or-treaters. we don't get trick-or-treaters. Yeah, you're way out in the country. Yeah, we don't get yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, all right, so iOS 9.1 came out this week, the update. Uh, no reason not to get it. Uh, the reasons to get it, it fixes uh, live photos. It used to be, remember, we talked about how you would raise up the phone and you get that in the live photo and raise down. It, it seems to work. So. so normally what you do when you take a live photo is you take a picture, you forget you're doing live photo, and you put mm -hmm. your camera down too soon. This says it's going to sense it when I do that. And uh, it's, it's going to cut it off before I put it down. So it did. Oh, well, sorry. Whoops. No, it didn't. Did well, you update? Yeah. See, it's supposed to not do that. Well, okay, that's before. <laughs> do you, you did, have it after? I have it after, yes. Pretty sure um, I have to. So, yeah, I have a lot of the so before. Much for that, Let's see. Huh? That's this picture that I took of John. It's a uh, general software update. I, I did uh, put 9.1 in there. Well, see, maybe should I try it? Should I do it? Do it. See, 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 I think okay. it's, I think the Apple maybe over, overstated a little bit. The, uh, yeah, see, because it's natural. You don't, ex you forget. Okay. okay, now you get a very nice picture of me. That is a very nice picture. And you put the camera Well, down. almost. It, it cut it off a little, it cut it off a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. So it's not perfect. It's supposed to do that with the accelerometer. Mo um, I don't care no. about that. I care about the burrito emoji. The emojis. I uh, I I love emoji. I say you're you're apparently allowed to say emojis, even though the plural of emoji is technically emoji. What I've, are you talking about? It's not Latin. <laughs> it's Japanese. And it's emoji and emoji. But even well, in the I update screen, it says emojis with an S. I think there's more than one of them. It's an emojis. Mm. No. Well, officially, so, I think both are accepted, <laughs> but. Okay. Officially, uh, yeah, it's emoji. I don't know what you call them. I call emojis. them dumb. Dumb. No, I think emojis are fine. I'm being getting the stickers now though, because emojis are so little. But if you do text messaging, if you do Twitter, uh, you, the emojis are a way to add expressiveness to plain old text, and they've added some new ones. Now these are not Apple unilaterally adding these. I should point out no. the emoji is a standard. Yes, the emoji Unicode standard. It's a Unicode standard. It's actually in the character set, and the Unicode folks recently added a few uh, emojis, uh, some food emojis to reflect food tastes around the world. Emojis originally were Japanese, so there was a lot of sushi. Now they have a hot dog, a burrito, a taco. That's pretty much it. Global now. Yep. Global. Unicorn and a unicorn head. And uh, the middle finger. The middle finger, which I, I was. I talking saw your tweet. Yes, because. <laughs> <laughs> so the school system in Petaluma has given everybody iPads. Mm -hmm. And they've now they've given everybody the, the finger. All the seventh graders. <laughs> given them all the finger. Now have oh, middle kindergarten. fingers. Oh, kindergarten, kindergarten. But what the you know. You can't really block that, can you? Uh, no. See, I, I was talking to Serenity Caldwell about this before. She said there's not really a way you could create a whole new emoji keyboard when right. just pick the ones that you. Want. So were those the, were those new ones there those that you were, were the showing? Those were the new ones, like the the. Let's sluice. scroll down yeah. and see some more. I want to see what else there's. Smileys and people, dark sunglasses. Because I I don't want to take bandage, the I don't want to take the middle finger roll. away from anyone, but I don't like to see it myself. Like when I'm <laughs> scrolling through, it just makes me feel like I'm not. I'm, but you know. Lion face, I like it. Sometimes it's also it. uh, not so um, uh, Western uh, biased in terms of skin colors, mm -hmm. yes, or, that's or Jap Japanese American bias mm -hmm. in terms of skin colors. You now have a range of skin tones mm -hmm. from white white to dark dark, and you can pick one in between. Right. And now the way Apple's doing it, which I thought was interesting, is it remembers what you chose, and then that's what and that's the, the default from right. then on. So you have to change it if you want mm -hmm. to change it around. Diverse families too. Diverse. Oh, look at that. Diverse. That's good. Two dads. 
So there's a little Two diversity months. in there. Mm -hmm. That's not new, but um, um, it is do they have, worth mentioning. Do they have um, man-sized pumps? Because I wear a bigger They don't say shoe that a woman size. has to wear okay. those shoes. Right. It doesn't say anything about it. Uh, the anti-bullying emoji. Uh, you that's said there's an anti-bullying right emoji. Uh, it's way over here by the clocks that How no one ever gets to. How do I know that to. that is anti-bullying? Uh, there was some organization, you, you know it, by reading the news. Here it, it is. Is it before the flags? It's speak and say. See and speak. It's, see uh, and speak. Mm -hmm. It's... So is it's it if to you see, encourage you if, if, to, if to you report. see something to yes, say if something? You see some, yes, see okay. something, say something. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's interesting. An anti-bullying emoji. Mm -hmm. A lot of groups have gone. It's they like a campaign. That, what's funny is they put that in with the mahjong tiles. Is that what that is? Oh. A mahjong tile? Yeah, look at that. Oh. That's, that's kind of creepy. It is. Really? <laughs> yeah, oh. but oh. it's interesting. Hmm. Uh, so, new emojis. I'm surprised at Apple. Because Apple's kind of, they don't want to have anything too adult on the uh, iPhone. The, I'm well, surprised they, that they allowed the middle the, figure. Yeah, people voted for it. They but I mean, switch. granted, we all had fingers. Like, you know, we right. had them. And I fingers. think that, by the way, the middle finger does not mean the same thing in every country, right? I, I don't think so. I think it, it, it doesn't. Means there are other things that mean the middle finger in other countries. It also fixed the Pangu jailbreak. Now you can't Pangu jailbreak your phone. I would guess that there are many security uh, fixes in 9-1. Yeah. You almost always want to do well, the that, Yeah, updates. they don't talk about those. They don't, but, they don't yeah. make a big deal out but, of it. But, yeah, they fixed yeah. a lot of the And yeah. new planet wallpapers. Oh, are there? Oh, I, you know, yes. that's, I have Here, to look I'll at those. Show, uh, do you use custom wallpapers like your family and friends? I feel like it's a little disrespectful to use, uh, like I have Lisa as my wallpaper. But then you cover But she's always got icons. Oh, it's kind of like rude almost. Yeah, it's right over her like, face. Like I know she's there, but it's I can hardly tell. Yeah. So maybe I should use something a little bit less figurative. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's, this is one of the new planets. What planet is planet. that? You know, I I is looked. It Mars. I guess so. It's the red. It's red. Isn't that the red planet? Yeah. I was I was actually doing some looking because I knew you were going to ask me that question. I didn't want to look silly. I have no idea. They don't tell you. I have no idea what planet. I have that no is. idea. So the change that is you go into in order to change that you go into uh, your uh, wallpaper setting here. And you choose now. See, I have my I, the lock screen. That can be f family and friends because you see the whole right, thing. Right. Yeah. But I feel like I should have a new wallpaper for my home screen. Mm -hmm. So you're saying there's new stills? Uh, the planets are still there. Yes. They are. Oh, there's Saturn. Well, that must be Mars. If you yeah, that, yeah. that must be Mars, Saturn. And I don't know that's what, another what's one. this blue marble. Could that be Pluto? Doesn't look like Pluto. Mm -hmm. What? Uranus. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> that's worse than the middle finger. Um, okay, okay. There's not a huge choice here. You get feathers, you get planets. You're, you're going to use Mars. I'll use Saturn. Okay, good. Because women are from Mars, men mm -hmm. are from Saturn, right? So true. All right, we already talked about you can order your Apple TV. We talked about that. You ordered yours. I'm ordered order mine. You're going to order it? Uh, yep. This class action lawsuit, have you heard about that? Against Apple. To a couple in Florida is suing Apple. Why? Uh, wi Fi Assist. You're familiar with that. That's the thing that's on the iOS 9 that if you're on Wi Fi and uh, you have a bad Wi Fi connection, it'll automatically switch to cellular. Uses cellular. Bandwidth. And it, you know, the icon comes up there, but they're saying, I didn't know, it used up all my cellular data. Right. And now I'm suing you Could because you, you money. didn't notify me. Um, so they're, that's a class action lawsuit well, against Apple. But it, they say it's like $2 million is what they. How much data do they use? Uh, Maybe there's I don't know, punitive. That's a good question. They think all the punitive. people. There's, it's a class action oh, lawsuit, so, we each so get a they penny. think like everybody, yeah. you know, up to, you yeah. know. You can turn uh, that off. You don't have to have that uh, well, we should on. We should show people how to do that. And if I knew, I would. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm just, I'm just browsing around. You know, I'm new to this whole iPhone thing. It's taken me a while. I'm thinking you go into Wi-Fi. And uh, no, you know, that's where you would assume. That is where you would assume. But no. So uh, maybe you go into cellular because it's it, what it's doing is it's it's enhancing uh, Wi-Fi by adding some cellular. I think it's uh, way down at the bottom. Here it is. It's in cellular. Way, so you have to scroll all the way down. You, yeah, the bottom. there you go, right and at the then bottom. Wi-Fi yeah. assist. Okay. So I have it off. You can turn it on. It says oh. automatically use cellular data when Wi-Fi is connected. Then the Wi-Fi connectivity is poor. But see, that's really a bad place to put it because you. You have to. I mean, I love it that Apple's put this in. You can say which apps can use cellular data and not, mm -hmm. or not. But, but the fact is, I have a lot of apps, and that's a long way to scroll. I might never get all the way down to the bottom there to see Wi-Fi Assist. I feel like they should put that more. Maybe that's what the lawsuit. Well, was. yeah. I mean, it is hard to find. The other thing is, someone just pointed out in the chat room that in settings now you can just search for a setting if you want to. So oh, you that's can just too easy. Wi-Fi Assist.
That would just be too easy. Right. Too easy. Oh. Uh, so yeah, that's a class action lawsuit. Yeah, I'm not sure I can get behind it. I don't really, yeah, I don't think I can. Okay, and I've got a little bit more news. Uh, Apple is launching a new program in the Genius Bar, which you might love and you might hate. Uh, if you come in with your iPhone and it doesn't boot up or you can't connect it to uh, a computer, to iTunes, or it doesn't boot up past the screen, uh, they're not going to fix it right then. What? They're going to they're gonna t send it you home with a loaner. A 16 gigabyte loner. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's what they're gonna do with all oh. the 16. Oh, that's like bringing in a Mercedes and getting yeah. a Saturn. So to drive it's around. like that's the, mean. <laughs> the, that is mean. That's the mean. idea is that you no know, more crazy lines at the Genius Bar, no more waiting forever. But right. really, it's just like you're going home with a, a loner. Yeah. You know, eh. yeah. And then you, and then they still fix it there, but just on their own. In a week, you come back a week time. later. Yeah. A week? Yeah. Or however long it takes. Okay. Whatever it takes. Okay. That you is, know what? They're still so much better than any other uh, support. I can't really knock them. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's nice that you have a loner. I mean, yeah. you know, rather than nothing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Someone yeah. survive with nothing. Uh, all right. Well, we were brought to you by Ring. We're also brought to you by Unity. So. Yeah. Oh, I love Unity. Unity. We got to show you this. This is really cool. This is the uh, free home media server. And I mean free, it's not freemium, it's not they're gonna come along and ask you for more money, it's free. It lets you stream the stuff that's on your computer to any iOS device. I mean, you know that on your computer you've got the movies you want, the photos you want, your music, your videos, but not being able to access them from your mobile device, it's just, it's just, it's a pain. It's, and you don't wanna have to upload some large file to Dropbox. With Unity, it's easy, you install it on your computer it indexes very quickly all your videos your photo albums your playlists your files and then it allows you to see them and stream them anywhere on the internet from your iPhone or your iPad so you can stream your videos from home while you're at the hotel you never have to buy another $15 movie because you can just stream it if you install unity on several computers they'll actually merge everything not physically but they'll merge the index all together so you can find anything on any of those computers it unifies all your stuff in their app you can automatically merge itunes accounts and libraries so this is even better than family file sharing you can access all your lightroom or apple photo libraries and photo albums you'll actually see the organization that you apply to those it will find gopro videos so you can access and share them more easily you can even use AirPlay to stream music or video to your TV. So you put Unity on your computer, Unity on your phone or your tablet, and then stream the video to your phone and then AirPlay it to your TV. It's awesome. Create your own personal free media server at getunity.com slash twit. Oh, one other thing. It's totally private, totally secure. Access all your files on demand for free getunity.com slash twit that's g-e-t-y-o-u n-i-t-y dot com see get you 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 should get unity, unity. get y-o-u-n-i-t-y dot com slash twit and we thank them so much for their support it's great for people who travel a yeah, lot yeah holidays are coming up yeah they? don't have to copy all those movies over right just get them you stream them download them so we have some viewer questions I'm and ready. some voicemails Got my thinking and some cap comments. On. Uh, Neil from Phoenix writes, I really enjoy the show and always learn something from watching. I am a 1Password user and I was interested in Leo's comment about using Dropbox Sync versus iCloud. Leo implied that iCloud was more secure than Dropbox. I was disappointed to find out that I was unable to use iCloud Sync since I purchased my copy of 1Password from the AgileBits website instead of oh. from the Mac App Store. Apparently only the App Store version supports iCloud Sync. I thought you would like to know. Yes. I bought mine, thank you, Neil. I bought mine uh, on the um, AgileBits website as well. So it usually goes the other way around. It's funny, uh, Apple, once they created the App Store, they set up rules for developers. If you want to sell on the App Store, you have to, there's things you can't do, for instance. You have to get permission for the things you do. So a lot of companies sell a, a kind of stripped down version on the App Store and a more powerful version on the website. This is the first time I've heard of this flip and it probably has something to do with Apple's rules. If you want to be able to sync with iCloud as well as Dropbox, you need to get it from the App Store mm -hmm. and that's part of the Apple approval process so they can vet you and make sure that you really are, you know, it is your iCloud account and all that. Let me explain why I said it wasn't as secure. There's, a, there's pros and cons. iCloud is iOS and Apple only. So if you have an Android device or a Windows device, you, you probably don't want to use iCloud. You'd use Dropbox. 
But Dropbox, as good as it is, isn't what we call a trust no one solution. Dropbox can, if necessary, access your password. That means there's some small risk of your files being read uh, by, say, a rogue Dropbox mm -hmm. employee. So when you're talking about something as sensitive as a password file, you know, it's probably something to pay attention to. Um, the good news is uh, on Dropbox or iCloud, uh, 1Password does encrypt uh, the password keychain that you're storing on those. So even if a rogue employee was able to get that keychain, um, they wouldn't be able to get your passwords. But this is why and you, I would refer you back to our show where we're talking about 1Password. You should not use the Agile keychain that is the default with 1Password. They're going to change that because mm. that has some of the information, not your passwords, but everything else in English and plain text, which means somebody in Dropbox could see that much um, or somebody who has access to a website or whatever. You should use their OB keychain. They have a, more, a better fully encrypted keychain now, and mm -hmm. I think they're going to shift to that. But watch last week's show or go to, go to the uh, 1Password site and find out how to convert your Agile keychain to the newer is it OB, OBJ keychain, the, the newer encrypted keychain. And then it doesn't matter what you use. Okay. Well, thanks for your comment, Neil. Yep. Uh, and we have a voicemail from Bob from Michigan. Too. Hi, Megan and Leo. This is Bob in Charlotte, Michigan. I hope you can help. I'm looking for an Apple Watch app that will sync with my grocery list and reminders on my iPhone and allow me to check off items on the watch as I mm. pick them up in the store. Now, because there's no Reminders app for the watch, I had been using Fantastical for this, which worked fine until iOS 9 and Watch OS 2. Mm. Now it's uh, glitchy and kind of prone to crashing. It also alphabetizes my Reminders list, even though my Reminders was in grocery aisle order. Mm. But Fantastical says that's an Apple issue. Uh, if it's not, I'd love to find an alternative that will maintain that order. But uh, I want to stick with reminders on the iPhone. I love being able to tell Siri to add items to my grocery list. That is nice. And I don't need anything more powerful than that. But I don't want to have to carry around my phone in the grocery store if I can use my watch instead. So any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. I love the show. Bye. Thank you, Bob. I have lots of suggestions because I have crazy lists that I bring everywhere. And it's a weird that reminders, you can say like, you know, Siri, remind me to pick Which up I milk love. at, you know, seven o'clock or when I get you here. You can say when I get to the store, you yes. can actually say when I'm at Petaluma Market, remind me to right. get milk and it has geofencing. I love but that. But then there's no Does app that you watch? can, well, you can do that on the watch. You can tell the watch, but, you but then you can't watch. see it and check it off. Uh, I use Wonderlist for my shopping list. Love Wonderlist. I now that's a to-do list. list, but it's you could a, do a shopping yeah, list. Yeah, so too. I have it. Um, and it has an Apple Watch. It interface. has an Apple Watch, at, but but it's not the greatest. And I was glad he sent this question because I did some research. Um, tell me where you can see my watch. Let's see. The, okay, uh, the first watch. of all, yeah. I don't know what's going on here, but this happens a lot. Wonder the Wonderlist app is dark. Uh, is dark, but that's it. So if I click it, huh. then it comes up. Okay. Um, and like all Apple Watch apps. It's speedy and quick, and it comes, oh, right. They uh, kept saying that that would get better with the uh, It hasn't watch quite OS gotten too. better. Maybe so they haven't done that. Here's uh, my list for the, d for the day. I'm all done for the day. Um, and my list, my inbox, that's my inbox. I'm all done. What I, the way I use Wonderlist is not this way. So I starred list, I'm all done. I have a bunch of lists in Wonderlist that, um, but I can't see them on my Apple Watch. So here's all my lists. I have all of these lists. But what, do you see any lists on your Apple Watch? Uh, I only Just see one. the, oh, here's the, here's, I got it. Here's my, what you can see, blow up suit. This was starred. I needed to buy a blow up suit for Huck because that's <laughs> what he wants to be following so I could check it off. He I wants to be what? A, 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 a sumo wrestler? He, it's blue and it blows up. Here, I'll show you it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I believe you. I just. There, there it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. so uh, yeah, I bought it, checked off. Oh, so Wonderlist is not so great. So I have these other ones on the watch. Oh, I thought you were going to say to do that. No, don't do that. Well, if you, I mean, I, it won't do what I don't wants. check, I use my phone to check off the things. Why does so, a reminder do know. this? Here is one that is Come okay. On, it's called Bring. Bring. Um, so at home and workplace. Okay. So um, I need to get dog, dog food. food. Okay. And then it, let's say I've, I bought the dog food, I bought, and then it's, 
not red but, anymore. No, it's not red, which I found a tad bit. It confusing seems like it should be because, the other way around. Yeah, then, yes. Maybe go 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 green when you need it and red when you. Right. So it. Bring is an app that is also good if you're having a party and you want to tell a bunch of people to bring something and uh, then they can all have the app. Okay. Um, here's the one I like the so best. So it shares so far. with other people. Yeah, so oh, you say, nice. I want you to bring the potatoes, you to bring the milk, okay. you bring. Yeah. This one is called Captain. Oh my god. And captain. I really like this one. Not El Captain. Um, it has, no, just Captain. So groceries. Here's my grocery list. And that's, that's what I want it to look like when I've. That's bought exactly it. right. So let's say I bought beans. And then it's pretty fast. It just too crosses for, it off. Yeah, canned tomatoes. Oh, nice. And it, uh, okay, good. So that Captain. seems like that's the one. Yeah, this is the one that How I like. How much is that? That, that? That's a great question. I'm pretty sure it was free, but um, let's see. So I, I do this on my Android Wear watch with Google's Keep app. It does. It's Keep, just like yeah. reminder on the iPhone. Google, yeah, you can talk to it and put stuff in there and then it'll show up on the watch and you can check it off on the watch. But it doesn't work on uh, iOS. It seems like Apple should do this with reminders. I, I wish they would. I know. So here's what it looks like on the, um, on the phone. So you can make a new list. Uh, you can... Oh, you know what? Here, it's the best feature about this that I haven't used in practice yet, but if okay. it works, what? you uh, add people to it um, and groups and then when you're at the it'll first of all like reminders it'll notify you what you need to buy when you're at the grocery store so when yeah. you're nearby and then uh, other people can say oh you're at the grocery store like Marco could say you're at the grocery store I need milk and then he can live add that to my no. list so I have not used that feature of captain but it is supposed to do that so that actually is, is very so, useful because that happens to me a lot where show that. oh I remembered one more thing and it's nice if you could do that remotely just right, from your just phone. To, yeah, or I mean, what we do is like, oh, here are all the things I'm going to text them to you, and then yeah, you know, but if they're and then, this is then I, yeah, then I already have them in the list, right. and then I have them on my watch, nice. and bring. No, so that's not bring. This is captain. Captain. Bring was the one that was okay. Was but perfect. captain's the one to get. And I'm going to get it right list. now. And again, you know, I think that I don't know why Apple doesn't let you have a reminders app that you can check off. I know you can put ad well, reminders, but you can't. Until check I them off. until I got the new iPhone, we were I'm. A mixed marriage mm -hmm. and uh, I can't use Google keep because Lisa doesn't have it now she has it at least yeah you can get it on yeah the so for a long time we couldn't do that but I'm gonna I'm gonna get captain c-a-p-t-a-i-n and uh, then now we can now that we're uh, heterogeneous once again right. uh, we can uh, we can share that okay yeah, captain me. so yeah there I haven't go. used that in practice but um, I think it looks good because I know it's like we can't be the only people that, that happens are, all the time. Yeah, same with my daughter. She has a phone. She can say, "I need this. I yeah. need pencils. Yeah. I need." Yeah, So you can have as many cream. people as you want on your captain list. Yes. Cool. So. Is that yeah. it on the uh, questions from the? We uh, have one more question right. or a comment. Um, I'm downloading Captain. Okay, my sheet went away. So. Captain Rocket, Captain America, Star. <laughs> Just, you know. They've got to fix the app search. Put, uh, put search for Captain Grocery. Captain Grocery, that's me. <laughs> I think that's how I found it. Captain Grocery. Nope, oh. no such thing as Captain Grocery. How did I find it? Mm -hmm. How about I'll Captain Lists? It, it should let me share it. Yeah, but but uh, for people at home, watching at mm -hmm. home. Well, the well I searched for Captain Lists and I got Tattoo Design Pro. So... Captain Time? Oh. Oh, El Capitan. Is that how you spell it? Oh, thank you. Oh. It's like Capitan. Capitan. Thank you. Because it's from El Capitan. <laughs> oh, Capitan, yes. Somebody Capitan, needs oh my Capitan. <laughs> Grocery shopping list by Capitan. Capitan. Offers Apple Watch app. Get. Thank you. Install. Do. It's free. It's free. Nice. Capitan. Don't look for Captain. That would be a crazy name for the app. Thank goodness Capitan. you're here today. <laughs> She's a trained professional. If you want to come and help us with the show, help us read small print, you can too. Tickets at Twit TV. Yeah, and if you would like to get a new phone. Well, I have one more. Well, I have oh, one more. Oh, one more? For, this is a follow up from. Uh, we talked about Minecraft story mode last week. Yes. And I said it wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't really my kid's cup of tea. I had some feedback about that. Stuart from uh, Victoria, British Columbia said his five, eight, and eight year olds love it. His 10-year-old, not so much. Oh, so like maybe so an much. age Five, thing. eight. Yeah. And Mike Chandler, who uh, used to... We know to, Mike yes. very well. Love mm -hmm. Mike. He bought it for the Xbox, and he says that he thinks they're targeting a younger audience. 
uh, who wants to be immersed in a story and avoid frustration. The game style is reminiscent of some of the really great games back in the early PC MS-DOS days, like the Kyrandia series, Hand of Fate, Malcolm's wow. Revenge. And he says LucasArts came out with games like this called Ma Maniac Mansion and Full Throttle. Oh, I remember those. Those were fun. And they were really great and challenging. Yeah. And Telltale. So it is a game, kind of. Yes. All right. And we missed this last week because it was back to almost Back to the Future Day. Telltale, who did Minecraft Story Mode, they also made the Back to the Future, the game. The game. So you can write in 757-504-iPad uh, or iOS today at twit.tv. I'm adding my family right now to, to my Capitan. Capitan. <laughs> this is awesome. And tickets at twit.tv, yes. If you'd like to be in the studio, Minecraft. just like our lovely studio audience today. All two of them. Our and without them, we'd still be calling a captain. And well, you know what? Maybe. You're right. You're right. Do you use Capitan? I, I was looking for it. And she found it, and that's now we know. All right. The show brought to you by Gazelle. If you are looking to get the new iPhone, or uh, maybe you want to replace your iPad Air with your iPad Pro, yeah. Gazelle is the place to sell your gadgets, get top dollar for them. They are the trusted online marketplace. And now, not just for selling your stuff, but for buying new stuff. You could trade in your old device for cash and then buy a certified pre-owned one. Or you could do both. For trade-ins, visit gazelle.com. Find your device. You'll get a quote. That quote is locked in for 30 days. They pay the shipping. Payment is fast. They'll send you a check. You can get a PayPal credit. Or, and I like this, if you buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, get that Amazon gift card. Uh, and you might say, well, what happens to the phones we sell to Gazelle? Well, the very best stuff, the creme de la creme, goes on their certified, uh, slightly used, pre-owned, maybe, uh, list. So they sell back phones, uh, iPhones. They sell back cell phones from other manufacturers, Samsung phones, iPads. Go there right now to get a great deal. If your kids lose the uh, phone or break the phone or you lose your phone, you can get a pre-owned device at a great price. Shop for iPhones 4S through 6 Plus, for iPads, the standard of the air, the mini, Samsung Galaxy phones. Uh, there are a variety of uh, conditions. You can choose, depending on how much you want to pay, you could choose, uh, you know, like new, which is hardly used at all, or in fact, in many cases, isn't used at all, but just was returned or sold because the person decided they didn't want it. Or you can get something that's a little bit more worn, but uh, all the phones you get are uh, inspected with their rigorous 30-point inspection process. They're working perfectly. No scratches on the screen, things like that. And you have 30 days, a very liberal 30-day return policy, so you're never stuck. I love Gazelle. To buy, to sell, you got to go to G-A-Z-E-L-L-E, -E, gazelle.com. Time to get that new stuff. Get rid of the old stuff. Like Gazelle. Why, it's Witch Megan. <laughs> That Megan. Yes. That's a nice uh, witch hat. It's a nice hat. witch hat, yeah. I didn't even know we had that hat. Uh, it's and my me, personal hat. It's my personal I'm witch Teen hat. I'm Wolf. Oh, that's good. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I have a little hair problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is my personal witch hat from home uh, that I wear on oh, so occasions. Soft. Oh, that is. <laughs> it's very soft. <laughs> why, Daddy, why is your hair a different color on top? It does feel soft. Uh, yeah, you know. and a different color. Yeah. Uh, so why are we wearing hats, Leo Laporte? This is uh, the time of the show where we do our app caps, the best apps of the week, the apps we're most excited about. Generally, they're new. Sometimes we revisit an old favorite, an old mm -hmm. friend. Uh, why don't you kick things off, uh, I'm, Witch Megan? I am not visiting an old friend today. I am visiting an app that you might might already be an old friend because it was released just last week. But Boomerang, it's one oh. of those. I love it. I do too. We, I, but but you know what? You're gonna have to give me some tips on this. So this okay. is from Instagram. It's from it's one of the standalone Instagram apps that you know it's not part of Instagram, but it's an app that you have to download. It's free. Uh, their other one is Layout, which lets right. you do frames and or stuff like that. Or Hyperlapse is their other yep. one. So this takes a little bit of video. Uh, and just like one second of video. Okay, that was <laughs> and good. 
The person yes. has to move, and it turns it into an animated gif. Yeah, it goes forward and back, forward and back, one second, forward and back. See, so. I thought, you know, the best thing would be like somebody diving uh, into a pool. Yeah, And then they come good. and go, come mm -hmm. and go, that kind of thing. But it can also be that. That, that actually looks pretty good. I, I, might, I might have to sh share that. Here's one that I took of my boys uh, that I... Um, they encourage you to do uh, expressions. Yes, this was... Faces. This one was pretty good for them. Um, it had sound? No, it has no sound. Uh, the dog. It's a, if you want to take a picture of your dog dancing, this is a great way to do that because it makes your dog look like they're dancing. Let's see if this, these photos are on my um, in my photo. You took one yesterday during Twit of journalist Mark Millian. I did. Mark we Millian. tried. I was trying with Lauren Hawkinson and oh. Mark Millian, and we and uh, Lauren was trying to. I, what I wanted is Lauren to throw some shade. Oh. You know? She should have tweaked her bow. Lauren always wears the bow. Was she, she wearing a bow? Yeah. She has a great collection of bows. She, she has 20 bows. M more bows than any tech journalist in on earth, I think. Uh, so we couldn't. I couldn't really get her, because that's what I need help with. Timing is tricky. Yeah. So I don't know when does it start recording when you press the button. Yeah, and but it's only a second. That's the thing. And it's one second. Mm -hmm. Which makes it hard to do. Uh, some that I got of my dog. Can we see this one? Oh, there we My go. My dog. So I, I have. I think, uh, did you see this one, Leo? Yeah. That was that was after. That's like the a, dog doing like that Russian dance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the troika. The troika. Yeah, that's my dog yeah, doing the troika. Yeah, that's good. So you. Um, the, I put this on Instagram, the picture of you, and I, I captioned it, the very definition of razzmatazz. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's you, Miss Razzmatazz. Yeah, so there's really not much to say more about um, Boomerang, except that it's awesome and that, you know, you your dog will love it. It's free. Yeah. I thought after Boomerang came out, I actually braced myself when I For opened boomerangs? Instagram, because I thought they'd be f just loaded. With boomerangs. But I think I'm not alone. I think it's hard. People find it hard to time it just right. Yeah. And so they encourage you in the in the documentation, for instance, to make a face or something. I don't think that's interesting. I think you need to jump off of something. Right, and then, yeah. And then do it, right? The yeah, there's the dog dancing. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ping pong, there's a treat there. Yeah. That's Is my, that your dog? That's my dog, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I worked hard. Look at how many I had to do before I got that yeah, one. Yeah, see? see. Let's see. Yeah, that was I a lot. I think this is going to wear off pretty quick. The <laughs> we worked on that thing. for a long time. But what yeah. is nice, it is a very easy way to get animated GIFs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were talking about this on Sunday, yesterday on Twit. I feel like this is going to be, this election cycle in the United States of America is going to be the animated GIF cycle. Oh, yeah. You know, because it's always been the case for a long time that there's that one picture that can ruin you for life, like mm -hmm. Michael Dukakis sitting, you know, the governor of Massachusetts yeah, mm -hmm. running for president, sitting in the tank with that giant helmet on his head. Oh, yeah. That actually cost him the election. Not that he had a shot anyway, but I feel like that was really, that's, and nobody will ever forget that picture, mm. right? You see it and you go, oh, yeah, Michael Dukakis. This election season, it's not going to be the still. It's going to be the animated GIF. Right. And one of the reasons, I think this is true, I read a great article about it, in which uh, uh, the, the writer was saying, look at the Benghazi hearings, Hillary Clinton, 11 hours sitting in Congress, and he says, Hillary Clinton intentionally took some poses that would be perfect for animated GIF memes. Uh -huh. And guess what? They were. She Remember the one of her going like this? You think she did that on purpose? She, no one does this by accident. They don't? She went like this. Oh. Right? That's you don't do that in normal life. That's a that's. Is that a sign for like, like throwing, throwing shade? shade. That's it's, throwing shade. Well, it's isn't it? Was it Jay Z that says brush it off, brush it off? <laughs> uh, the president did it. Look at that. These are this is the entire Benghazi testimony in animated gifts. And the, the point I'm making is I don't think it's accidental. No. I think that she has realized that the story of the 20. I'm not kidding you. The 2016 presidential election in the United States will be told in animated GIFs. Well, that's how low we've sunk. Well, that's what the kids like. The kids that's like what the kids yeah. like. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're a candidate, you'd be smart to remember to always make sure you make a gesture that can be turned into an animated GIF. Awesome.
that is good to know. Politics 101. Uh, I also think they're trying to go after like live photos. Like, is it, you know, just it's adding not a little. It's live photos, though, is But it? it's adding a little life yeah. to a photo. I think we're just, yeah. we're bored. We have all these photos. What are we going to do with them? It's just adding a little more life to the photo. I think she's doing it on photo. purpose. I think she's. Like oh, no. I was talking about boomerang still. Well, maybe people will use boomerang. I don't boomerang. think that Hillary Clinton's running her campaign in Based order to. Based on boomerang. Live, What's our boomerang photos? strategy? Yeah. She might be saying that to her advisors right now. What is our boomerang strategy? Yeah, I hope that she is, because everybody needs a boomerang strategy. But I was talking about just gifts and live photos and just adding like a little bit more life to photos. That's mean. That is mean. Are that is not just shade at me. No, it's not throwing shade. What does it mean? It's like just brush it off. Oh. Like just brush it Hater's off. Hater's gonna hate. I, hate is gonna hate. Got Play it. is gonna yeah. play. Just brush it off. You're a okay. gangster, shake not it, a wanker. Just what brush Twizzle it says. off. Shake it off is what Twizzle says. T Twizzle? T-Swizzle, you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm of a different generation, a different era. For me, it was the electric guitar that was, that was uh, spoke to the youth of my era. Okay. And I think you know the game Guitar Hero. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, mm -hmm. but there is now an iPad edition of Guitar Hero, which is awesome! It's free. Another image if you can have free. <laughs> it's free, uh, but they do have a paid version, which you can actually be on stage with real people if you've ever played guitar hero you know i always kind of mocked guitar hero because in fact first of all i'm terrible at it but also i always think the kids who spent hours mastering this game could have instead spent hours mastering an actual guitar but it is kind of fun to play and you can, there's lots of different modes it's free to start and i'm terrible at it ah! They have uh, some, of course, uh, well-known songs as opposed to this made-up song. This is a made-up song, isn't it? Um, oh. It's a lot of fun. I'm, a, I'm actually a fan of uh, Guitar Hero. That was on regular difficulty. You can, you can make it harder uh, still. Uh, you can download it for free, kind of play it, see if it's your thing. Should we start again? I, I, now that I've practiced a little yeah, bit, let's... I think I'm going to be ready. Ready? I'm ready. Do, 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 do. Apparently, I wasn't ready. So that's me playing the guitar. If only it were this easy. It's gonna get. It's gonna throw me a curve here. Anyway, if you this, the, it turns out. The iPad is the perfect place to play this game because it's touch, it's multi-touch. It, this was, it, Guitar Hero was invented, I think, uh, for the iPad. So there it is, it's available now. My app cap for the day. You can play in a simulated live situation or you can actually be on TV, but you have to pay if you want to be on TV. And then the, you can unlock you know, more sh more songs, more shows, uh, the usual stuff like that. Do you play the guitar, the real guitar? I don't, and I feel like I uh, I'm so darn good at Guitar Hero at that guitar you wouldn't no, start. No, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you do play the real guitar, you can with the proper interface click connect your guitar up and actually use your guitar oh. to play a uh, Guitar Hero. See, with an iOS enabled guitar, so that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know how much it costs because I can never quite get into the center to find out but uh to, to play the full full digital version but free to start which is nice that's a show we got the app cap we will, <sighs> by the time we see you again halloween will be over i hope it is everything you want it to be 49.99 to unlock the game what the play heck? the free one then that's <laughs> out, that's outrageous that's what it costs like for the that's we're crazy mm. or you get a party pass for 99 cents you can play for 30 minutes wow activision Wow. Wow. But that's how much it costs, like, when you play it on an Xbox. So, yeah. All right. But think about the, the, your dreams could come true if you know how to play the guitar. All right, all the links to the show are at twit.tv slash iOS today. Uh, write to us. You can write directly to me at Megan at twit.tv. You can uh, not find me Not write to me. You can write to him, but he doesn't answer any emails, including mine, so <laughs> good luck hers. with that. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to review the Apple TV next week. I won't, but you will. I might have one by next week. Yes, and a new case that and, you can show Oh, off. I didn't even show my new spec case. Ooh.
That's pretty nice, huh? The grippy case like that. Uh, you know, they did you notice? I think Spec must be a, a sponsor of Modern Family. They only use Spec cases. Yeah, well, that's probably what we call yeah. product placement. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. like my hair. Mm -hmm. What what product are we selling with that? <laughs> what do you think, Rogaine? <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us. We do this show every week, uh, twelve thirty ish. Uh, if you want to be in the studio audience, we love it. Obviously, it's very helpful to us when we learning how to spell and say Capitan. things. Uh, and, Capitan. Capitan. Uh, yeah, Twicket tickets at twit.tv, not Twickets. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Have a great time. And do send us pictures of yourself, your family, and your friends in costume. We'd like to show or, that next week. Yeah, or dressed like zombies. Dress I mean, like or, zombies. you know, morphed into zombie faces. I'd All like right. To see those. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. Bye-bye. Oh,